I started my journey as an interior architect and I basically started designing homes for people and through that I wanted to change their lives. I wanted to change how they interact as family units. I found myself creating um, spaces that are beautiful but I didn't find any fulfillment or satisfaction because um, I didn't feel like I was actually changing people's lives. It wasn't what I imagined it to be. And the consumerism and that lifestyle wasn't something that made me happy anymore. And after 12 years, having two kids, I felt the need to create something that had some meaning. And I've always encouraged my kids to give back to society, think of other people, try to use their hands to make things instead of um, waste time. Um, so I've always done art with them at home and I always um, tried to make them find ways to make things, sell them, give back to someone that needs it. Through that period, I also had problems with my daughter struggling a little bit in school and I, she's extremely creative, extremely talented and unfortunately I realized the education system doesn't cater to, to kids that have some kind of creativity. I mean, they, they don't have um, access to art or music once they reach middle school. It's m once a week or something. I decided that I'm not gonna take it anymore and I need to do something about it and I have to make a space where my daughter and other kids who have the love of art in them, they can just come and meet up and, and paint whenever they want to and just discuss pieces of art and get inspired by other artists. I didn't have access to that as a child, but I did private lessons. My, my parents always um, helped me have access by taking me places or bringing teachers to my home. But it's really rare to have that access. And it's very important for growth and understanding of the world. My dream is to be able to provide art classes to communities that are underprivileged, especially in Kuwait, where they go to schools, yes, m most of them, but um, there's a big majority that doesn't have even access to schools. The expat community, al Hain, we have a huge problem with education and they can't have access to schools. Therefore, one of the things that really pushed me in this path is that I wanted to create a space where even the kids that didn't have uh, access to education could have access to some kind of beauty. And we see that in our space here in Hawali. Any, you see so many kids walking around during the daytime not being in school and that's it kills me to see that. Um, I, I look forward to the time when I can actually f be able to create these classes in Manifesto. And I look forward to showing the kids that are, that are privileged how what they're doing through their exhibitions and selling their work and making money and donating it, how they're making a difference to the community around them. And it's it's just a very beautiful thing to see. And um, every day I come here and I feel so happy. I never got that before in, in what I was doing. And it's funny because everyone says, oh, you have to go to college, you have to study and become something like an architect or an interior architect. And it's true, yes, it's beautiful. I got access to wonderful education and, and met so many people and I had a great experience. But I do think that you can have that with art. If I had studied um, art as well, like fine arts, I could have still had what I have today. And a lot of parents don't encourage their kids to study art, but quite it's very much about find something that you can get a job in, and you know, and it's it's sad. 
the obstacles are actually part of the journey. Everyone's different, but for me, it's, it's part of the challenge. I love a challenge. And going forward, I, I mean, I, I did this with my design. When I first started interior architecture in Kuwait, nobody understood what that was. And I, it was so hard to explain to people that I'm not a decorator, I'm an interior architect. I deal with structures, I deal with technical stuff. It's not just pillows and curtains. And it was such a challenge explaining it to people. But now, I mean, it's, it's very well known and it's, you know, a lot of people are interior architects and it's fantastic. I love it. Whenever you start something new, yeah, you'll face challenges. But yeah, it's, it's fun. First of all, I think everything happens for a reason. Everything. That, and it, I, this is something that I believe in 100%. Second of all, I think that social norms are really difficult to break away from. And it's so hard to have your own voice. It's so hard to say, I'm going to be a little different from, from everyone, or I'm going to say that I don't think the same thing as you do. As a girl, it's so hard here. But I encourage girls to do that. I mean, that's what I tell my daughter every time. Whether you're speaking to an adult or a child, you need to voice your opinion and say what you think because honestly, it's not worth keeping it in for until you grow up. Just, you know, go with your guts. I think there's a lot of progress. I see so much happening and I really think that women are actually moving faster than men in the region. Everyone's doing something. Even if they're at home, they're doing something, you know. Uh, it's, it's surprising um, and it's beautiful and I really think it's changing a lot. Um, it's just going to get better, I, I think. Yes, together we can do it. We can do it.